Hi, I'm Bill, and today we're going to do the perfect espresso. I was asked by a couple of my friends to share my coffee espresso secrets. What we're going to need today is an espresso machine. I use the little Primo and a coffee tamper. This is very key to have. A lot of times you'll have a little tamper on the end of your measuring spoon, which is this thing right here, but I don't find that that gives you a good tamp. Something to measure water with. To make it look official, you need an espresso cup. And the filter and the holder. I am going to do a little cutaway and then uh, position it down so that you can see more what I'm doing with my hands and with the coffee. Before we get going, let me apologize for the uh, window reflection in the last shot. Take your uh, filter, put it inside of your holder. I'm going to make a double shot of espresso, so I take one, two scoops in there, nice heaping scoops actually, then tamp it down gently, don't tamp it down too hard. If you tamp it down too hard, the steam won't be able to get through. Then we lock it into place into our espresso machine. For this demonstration, I'm using the Espresso Krups Il Little Primo, four ounces of water, you don't need that much to actually make your coffee, but I found that four ounces works best in this machine. A lot of the more expensive machines will actually uh, let you fill it up with about a quart of water. I'm using filtered water, as I said in past videos. We position the espresso cup in place. Now I have a shot glass. I'll show you what the, what the reason is for using this later on. Now. Instead of going straight to the espresso, I first start out the machine into the steam phase. And uh, who knows, I might cut this part out or might let it run, but we'll see how long it is before the machine starts to make steam. I have found with experience that it is best to let your machine make steam, which means that it's all the way up to temperature with the water before shooting the steam through the coffee. Uh, because the coffee makers, um, espresso makers, are designed to do steam through the coffee. That's what you're told makes the espresso. But your first shot coming out of there is usually a little bit water, and you don't want to get your coffee gr grounds too um, damp or moist or in this case, wet. So we wait until we get steam, and then we're going to flip her over to the other setting. All right, as you can see, there's water actually coming out of my hose right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I wait until it is steam, and you can hear the steam right now, right? Okay, so let's flip her over and start making our espresso. As soon as you hear, um, as soon as you see the um, coffee coming out start to froth up, you get foam, and after you get the foam, that's when to stop because you want to get all the oils out, but you don't want to get the yucky part of the coffee. So we can see the froth. That's the end of it. So you just turn it off, and now time for the shot glass. The perfect cup of espresso. There it is. Nice and easy. 
so let's review what makes the perfect espresso coffee. First off, you make sure that your coffee is well ground, powdery consistency. It takes about two tablespoons. That's what those two scoops were. I used a little bit more. And any kind of coffee will work. You don't have to have an espresso roast. I find that French roast works fine too. And tamp it down. Let the steam go through your machine first and then through your coffee. It just makes sense. That way you're not putting water through your grounds. And what will happen is if you put the water through, it'll leach out some of the bad flavor. And when your water does start to drip clear, uh, that's going to be pretty bitter tasting. So you want to make sure that turn off as soon as that goes. I like a oily coffee bean because that will give you more froth on top. Next video, we're going to go over this little tool, which is my Bamex mixer. I use it for about two things in my kitchen, and one is cafe lattes, and the other one is for cappuccino. Uh, basically, the two differences I will go over in the next video. So stay tuned. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.